uh, I think we had a nice debate. The question was how should we manage pitsoid looking tumors? Uh, the problem is basically that uh, spitz nevi, which is a nevus type, uh, there is a significant overlap between spitz nevi and melanoma with spitzoid characteristics. So this is the source of the problem. And, and given this overlap, we are trying to develop strategies uh, in order to uh, avoid missing melanomas that might look like spitz nevi, but at the same time, if possible, to, uh, to perform not many unnecessary excisions of nevi. So this is why the topic is complicated, precisely because there is this overlap. Uh, between a benign tumor and a malignant one. So in the debate, first, I was uh, uh, supporting an, uh, the argument uh, that uh, it's safer to excise everything and it's, it's rather uh, hopeless to try to avoid excisions without putting ourselves at risk. And Reiner, on the other hand, was trying to argue for the opinion that, of course, we have to excise in certain cases, but maybe in some scenarios we can, uh, especially in children, uh, we can avoid some unnecessary excisions. So this was this is the overview of the debate we had. Uh, the main arguments for uh, are first of all the overlap, the existence of the overlap, which is anyhow out of any question. And the second uh, argument is that even in children. Uh, the alternative option, which is monitoring these lesions, uh, usually, not usually, but sometimes it's not, uh, it's not beneficial because it leads to wrong conclusions. Why? Because these nevi, although they are benign, they have a very peculiar biology. So they grow in a very uh, peculiar way. They grow fast, rapidly, sometimes not symmetrically. So for monitoring them provides false information in some cases, of course. So monitoring doesn't make sense and then excise everything. This is the argument for yes. And the main argument for, uh, for no, which is, uh, let's say, in fact, the, uh, the, the management recommendation that most of us share. So we are trying to be more selective. This is the, the truth. The main argument is that, especially in, uh, in children, the probability of spitzoid melanoma uh, is extremely low and in particular is very low uh, in the context of a flat spitzoid looking lesion. So at least in this category, uh, maybe we can be more selective and avoid these excisions. This is the main argument. I'm not sure, but I am pretty sure that it provided insights on why the problem exists, which are the potential risks and that we have in mind, uh, we should have in mind as clinicians in order to take our decisions in the real clinical practice. Yeah, of course, great. The experience is great, but by all means, I would say the organization is, is perfect. The topics are uh, rich. They cover almost everything in skin oncology, from diagnosis uh, to treatment of advanced stages. Uh, and definitely, it's, uh, it's a very useful meeting precisely because it brings together people working in different parts of the puzzle of skin cancer. Uh, so some of them working mainly on diagnosis, some of them working mainly on, on treatment, many of us working on both. So all these professionals uh, of different specialties, some are dermatologists, some others are oncologists, come together. And this is, of course, extremely beneficial because you come in contact with the way that other people uh, face the same problems that you also have to face in your everyday work.